Hey guys, so today we are traveling to Penang Hill using the Bat Cave Temple Trail and it's my first time. I did a short research about the trail. I don't think it's that difficult. There's an incident at the temple a few months ago, a fire incident and I think right now it's still closed. If it's open, we might pay a visit, a short visit. After arriving at this pole, we just keep going. So after arriving at the waterfall, we just keep follow the trail. This should be a trail for motorbikes to access, so be careful when hiking. Also, I think the trail is quite easy to follow and it's um, almost 4 in the afternoon and I'm already sweating I was supposed to come in the morning but I got things to do so I have to postpone my hike until now the weather is freaking hot so please remember to bring your water and stay hydrated okay, so I just came up from that trail and I went up here and there's some dogs guarding there and they barked at me so i'm guessing we have to enter this trail with the no entry sign well let's give it a try okay so we have reached this um, intersection and um, from my research i think we should use the left trail a dog at one of the resting place and it barked at me and luckily it's not very aggressive or else it, it might bite me but look at this view over there is the Gatelok Sea Temple which is quite popular during Chinese New Year After arriving at this intersection, we will just follow that sign. So, let's go! What a nice view. Private property trespassers will be prosecuted. Again, seriously. We have arrived at yet another intersection and over here to the right we have the golden stupas which is one of the attraction for this trail so we are going to this trail to see the golden stupas Okay guys, so we have just made it to the Golden Stupa site. They say that if you come at some certain times, the sun will hit directly at the stupas and 
they will look very colorful like golden yellowish color I think we are quite close to the middle station already and right now it's about 5 p.m. so I think we'll be able to make it down before dark so after walking through the Dubas there's another intersection instead of going left we should go right Are you kidding me? Wait, I think I have a lighter. If you guys are wondering if I smoke, I don't smoke, okay? I have like a pair of lighters for emergency. Like if I get lost in the jungle or something, I can start a fire. Alright, let's go. God damn, look at the view. Okay, left or right? I guess we'll have to follow the arrow then. I guess we are getting close to the middle station. So yet another intersection. And if I'm not mistaken, if we go here, we will reach the top station and if we go down here, we should be able to reach the middle station, which is where we are going for today. In the meantime, please enjoy the view. The lovely view of Penang. It's quite nice actually, the skies are quite clear today. No fog, no rain, just typical humid tropical country. Alright, so right now we are hiking down using the Heritage Trail. I gave it a nickname called the Staircase of Death because of how tiring it was to hike up. My first time hiking up to Penang Hill is by this trail, so yeah, it's quite exhausting for a normal guy like me because I don't usually exercise and I'm not physically fit for this but I love hiking, it relaxes me if you guys have a chance, you should try it like definitely try this trail well I'm hiking down so I guess it's easier and it won't be that exhausting comparing to hiking up Oh, and um, did you guys know that the fastest trail to the top of Penang Hill is this Heritage Trail? Even though it's hard for beginners like me, um, it's the fastest way up if you don't spend some money on the funicular train, which is quite expensive if you are a foreigner. We have just arrived at the entrance of um, Heritage Trail. As you can see, it's 
behind me and right now we are traveling to the lower station which is a short distance away heritage trail it's a fun hike i enjoyed it and i sweat a lot which is good <laughs> 